Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I'm gonna show you how the Boolean modifier works. The Boolean modifier is really cool tool you can use to do things like connecting meshes together or subtracting meshes each other. Let's add a cube object firstly. Then, go to modifier menu and add the Boolean modifier. It uses one of the three available Boolean operations to create a single mesh out of two mesh objects. Intersect Union and Difference Let's go over the difference operation firstly. The difference operation is used to subtract one mesh from another one if they are overlapping. To use the Boolean modifier we need at least two object. So, let's add cylinder object also. We'll call it as the target mesh or operand. Scale it little bit. Now, what we're going to do is subtract the cylinder from the cube object and make a hole. Then, let's select the cylinder by eyedropper for difference operation. It has subtracted but we cannot really see. So, select the cylinder and go to the object properties menu. Let's change the display type to wire. Here we go. We can move the cylinder and see the difference operation. Let's apply the boolean modifier. There we go. We have new mesh object now. Now, let's go over the union operation. In the union operation the target mesh is added to the modified mesh, removing any interior faces. Press Shift A and add new cube object. Then, move the cylinder so that overlap with the cube. Then, select the cube and add the boolean modifier. Click on the union operation. Select the cylinder by eyedropper for union operation. Now, Let's apply the boolean modifier. There we go. We have joined the cube and the cylinder together into one object. Another operation of the boolean is the intersection. The intersect operation creates a new object whose surface encloses the volume common to both original objects. Let's add cube object and add the boolean modifier. Click on the intersection tab. Now, we need second object to apply intersection operation. So. Let's add UV's sphere. Scale the UV sphere up little bit. Then select the UV sphere by eyedropper. Go to the object properties menu and switch to wire mode. Here we go. We can move the UV sphere to position we want and apply the boolean modifier.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. In this lecture, I'm gonna explain operand type in the boolean modifier. Let's add cube object. Then, add boolean modifier. This modifier needs a second mesh object or collection of mesh objects to be the target of the operation. We call it as operand also. There are two types of operands. If we switch the operand type to object, it uses a mesh object as the operand for the boolean operation. If we want to use more than one mesh objects as the operand, we have to switch the operand type to collection. Now, let's add a cylinder object as a target mesh. Scale it little bit. Let's go to Object Properties menu and change the display type to Wire. Select the Cube object and go to Modifier menu. Then, select the Cylinder by Eyedropper. Here we go. We have applied to the Cube object difference boolean operation. Now, I want to use as target object a collection of the cylinder. To do this, firstly switch to operand type to collection. Select the cylinder and duplicate it by pressing Shift D. Then, select all cylinders and make a collection of cylinders. Let's right click and move to collection. Press the new collection and name the collection as cylinder collection. Then, Select the cube again and go to Modifier menu. Let's select the R new collection. There we go. We have applied to the cube object difference boolean operation as target a collection. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the solver option in boolean operation. Let's add new cube object and apply boolean modifier. The solver is an algorithm used to calculate the boolean intersections. There are two solver options fast and exact. The fast is simple solver for the best performance. However, this solver doesn't support for overlapping geometry. The exact solver is advanced solver and supports for overlapping geometry. However, this solver is much slower than the fast solver. Now, let's go to edit mode and add overlapping vertices and edges to the top face of our cube object. To do this, Select the top face of the cube and press E key to extrude. But let's cancel to extrude by pressing right click. In this case, top face vertices of the cube will overlap. It means two vertices overlap.
Let's add UV sphere and scale it little bit. Go to the object properties menu and switch to wire mode. Now, select the cube and go to modifier menu and select the UV sphere as target object. Let's move the UV sphere to the corner of the cube. There we go. It seems that works. But, if we switch to the fast solver, it won't work. It is because the fast solver doesn't support for overlapping geometry. The self option calculates cases when one or both operands have self intersections. Let's add new cube object. Then press Shift D to duplicate the cube and scale little bit. Press Shift D again and scale it so that intersect. Press Ctrl J and make them joint. Now, we have self-intersection geometry. Select the cube and add boolean modifier. Let's select this geometry as operand object. Switch to wire mode. Then, Move down the geometry so that overlap the cube. You have noticed that it doesn't work properly. But if we enable the self option here, it will work properly. The overlap trace hold maximum distance between two faces to consider them as overlapping. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.